What's up, guys? We're back on our road to Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Jay Sharani saying he's going to ruin his pants if we don't get the RPD with no sight gold viper on Forsaken. So that's what we'll be doing today. Also, if you haven't seen it, we got the M79 gold viper the other day on stream. I'll have a link to that right here if you want to watch it. Uh, we went to round 100 with it as well. Uh, it was a pretty fun stream. Uh, we had a lot of close calls and I think it's a good watch. So Cam has finally been dethroned as our top comment. Uh, he actually did have top comment last night before I went to sleep and his was the knife. So I had the knife already leveled up, ready to go. I was ready to record. I hop on, I go to get a screenshot of the comment and he's no longer top comment. So I had to go through, level up the RPD. So we have it up to level 47. That should be good enough to be able to get it to 50. And then we should be able to get a gold viper. But let me show you my camo progress really quick for grunge. We just need the rotten camo. We're at 1763 out of 2,500, just normal kills. Not too bad. Uh, our crits, we're going to need about, don't ask me math, but it's a lot. And then our, <laughs> And then for our pack a punch camos, uh, we're gonna need a thousand one hundred for that. Everything else is done besides the three or more critical kills. We need five more of those, and then we need to unlock infection and get all of our jackrabbit medals. Now for our build, he said no sight, so we're going no sight. We're throwing on the KGB eliminator. I'm gonna have the Spatna's RPK barrel because it does more armor damage. I don't think there's anything else that would be better than that, so we're sticking with it. Uh, we're going with the Tiger Team spotlight to increase our salvage. Bruiser grip per usual help that movement. Uh, the Spatna's a hundred round mag is our biggest mag available to us. That's what we're going to be using. Our handle is the speed tape. In our stock, I have it on no stock, but we don't need sprint to fire time. I was only using this because I was playing Outbreak. We're going to move it to something like shooting move speed and aim walking speed like the Spetna's PKM stock. And then we're going to go ahead and change our field upgrade to ring of fire here. But there still really isn't a good grinding spot on Forsaken. You might have to use toxic growth and sit on top of that spawn crate. So I'm just making sure that it's all leveled up to tier five and it is. Anything else that we can tier up? I think we're, we're good on everything that we need to grind. We even have our light machine guns all the way to tier five. So let's just go ahead, hop on Forsaken and get this thing done. But if you want a suggestion for us to get done here, make sure you leave a comment below on what weapon you want to see me do. Uh, I'll have a comment myself of the weapons that we already completed. That way we don't get any repeats. Make sure you leave whatever map you want. And if you're going to leave challenges, we started a whole nother series for that. I went ahead and I tried to play zombies with a guitar hero controller. It was insanely difficult. So you guys want to check that out. I'll have a link to that right here. All right, here we go. Walking on into Forsaken. Forsaken's such a beautiful map, but they took away a lot of what I like about it. They got rid of our truck. There's no Halloween event for us to mess around with. They don't have that glitch spot anymore. Everything's gone. And another important development that we found out on stream, the Tony Hawk spot's gone. If you guys have been around for a while, we have gone to the, the spot where the abomination spawns for the first time when you go through that portal. You know how you're in like that cylinder tube leading up to the portal? It's almost like a half pipe and you could PhD slide up to it and hit it, get some insane air, but they patched that. I don't know why that's on their list of things to patch or even why it happened, but it did. And I'm, I'm pretty disappointed about it. There must've been some sort of exploit being able to get out of the map or get to a spot where zombies can't get to you or I don't know, maybe they just missed it and went back through and got it done. But there's no more Tony Hawking. It's like this used to be my favorite map in the game, but they keep taking away everything I like about it. So I don't know anymore. This insta kill is kind of going in. Get all these kills. In a max ammo? Don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna try to build up some funds here. So we can just go ahead, grab Pack-A-Punch and then get right into grinding this thing. And a nuke, okay. We gotta practice getting these crits. It's looking like everybody for a challenge is putting no dead shot. And I think I'm going to refuse to do that one. So I still need to get camos here. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it on my own. I don't know if crits are possible with me just aiming. But you know what? This is a good trial run for our, our spot over here. Now, the reason why I want to use toxic growth for up here is because instead of them all just hopping up from like one side, they hop up from everywhere. So there's no chance of survival if they all start like storming up, especially with something like a RPD that reloads just absolutely horrendously slow. So if I get caught reloading and they're all jumping up here, cause past like round 10, they don't climb, they jump. They have like eight foot box jumps. I'm gonna be screwed. Cause I've already had to jump off here on round seven. But I'm sure once we get all set up, we're all good to go. It'll be a lot easier. So let's try it right here. We got double points. We got ring of fire. Let's use it. Let's see how the spot does. Okay, so far so good. Racking up the points, racking up the kills. I mean, it's working fine now, but I'm just curious to see how it does in the later rounds because I don't think we're going to get done with this thing until about round like 42 because we have a lot of crits to get. We're already at 17k. We're actually kind of not doing bad. Maybe I'll stay in this first... Oh, I ran out of ammo. <laughs> but maybe we'll stay in this first room until we can't. At the same time, I kind of want to go get 
dead shot just to help with crits. I kind of went onto the, the truck just out of like habit and I, I got a little sad there. Just seeing him climbing up the side like that. Like, come on. What was wrong with the way the truck was? We're just having some fun with it. We weren't hurting anybody besides zombies. Oh, geez. There's so many. Oh yeah, this is not good. Max ammo though. No, and we're down. Cool. Yeah, we're already down in this spot. See, I, I saw a lot of people suggesting this spot. I have my concerns about it. That's one of them. There's not really an escape plan there. Like in Colonel's office, you could always jump out the window. On D Machine and Penthouse, you could always just train around and get out. I guess you could train around up there. There's not as much room as Penthouse though. And it's not as like streamlined where zombies can kind of like pile in in a single line. Uh, D Machine underneath in the Speed Cola room also has like one of those portals you can go up in. And then on Mauer and Power Room, I guess there isn't really an escape there but it does have a like a crafting table there so that you can make stuff to help you like survive i don't know i feel like grind spots are few and far between on this map i can't think of anywhere else i'd go but we had to grab quick revive there there's no way i'm gonna go into this with no self revive go down and then restart that's not happening okay where's our part where's our part We'll grab that. Right, let's grab our other part. Where's the flashlight? Right over here. We need our TV right here. Open this up. We need dead shot. Open up Burger Town. Where's our fryer? There it is. And we're out. Let's put it together. Let's just kind of move on through this. I need to get pack a punch like right now. What's up, gentlemen? Two more. Okay, we're safe. We avoid the curse. A lot of zombies out here. Pop this open. I'm gonna spawn in the abomination, then take out all the zombies. Because I think for this first abomination, if it's the last like enemy out, it, the round doesn't end, at least for the first one. All other rounds, it will. But I didn't want to take out all the zombies, have the round end, restart, and then the abomination also come in after that. But now we can just knock out some crits. The iron sights on this aren't too bad. So that's, I, I like this challenge today. I don't even know if you can call it a challenge. I guess the most challenging part is trying to find a spot to grind camos on this map. I see a double point, so we need it. There we go. Let's just go right here by the portal. Oh, shit. Jeez, that thing really hits. We already had to run out of our ring of fire. Gun seems extremely stable, though. Like, I'm getting nothing but headshots. Normally, I'll, I'll still get a bunch of, like, you know, white text popping up telling me that I'm, I'm missing and that my aim's garbage. But this thing doesn't seem to have too much recoil. It doesn't, like, fall off on the accuracy. So it kind of just goes in. Yeah, charge at me, abomination. Idiot. Get hit in the anus. Yeah, scream. Gotta reload, though. Watch how long it takes to reload this. I'm gonna walk... I'm probably gonna be able to walk all around this thing. Okay, never mind. It's a little faster than I, I thought, but it's still pretty... It's, it's still pretty slow. Like, this reload's gonna be a problem for us all day. Even with speed cola. Speed cola feels like it does nothing, really. Oh, shit. So we need to get this pack a punched ASAP. No Rocky. Can we upgrade this thing anymore? Get it blue. Can't do much more after that. And can't upgrade our armor. So let's just go get it packed. Hit the button. Let's grab our loose change from PHD. Might as well grab it while we're right here. And let's get pack a punch and throw a cryo on it. But this is what the RPD looks like with the first pack a punch camo here on Forsaken. And it's called the Ru Ruinous Pain Distributor. Pretty cool. Camo also looks really nice on it. A whole lot of ground to cover on it. So pretty nice looking weapon. And we don't have enough to get a self revive. We kind of just have to tough it out for right now. I guess we're going to try out our, our box here. Here, but i'm scared this is gonna be the end of us maybe i should just have decoys and i have to reload i'll just toss them down we'll, we'll figure out a strat ring of fire for sure helps but we're not always gonna have it phd is also very good to have here i'm already down god come on i need to go back and get quick revive i was saying phd also seems really good for that spot so i do get like cornered there and I have like a bunch of uh, bunch of zombies down there, like hogging up this whole aisle way. I can just jump down, PhD them real quick, take them out. I mean, it's gonna take away from some of our kills, but it'll keep us alive. Oh wait, look at our mag right now, 69 sex. Let's just go to the Wonder Fizz and grab whatever we need and go ahead and reload this thing too. All right, let's grab Mule Kick for ammo, Quick Revive to keep the game going, and that's all we can get for right now. And we'll grab the loose change since we're here. But 264 bullets in the mag, that's that's really really good. But trust me, the ammo goes by fast. It doesn't have that fast of a rate of fire but I, I don't know it seems like it just it just leaves and then you're stuck reloading and reloading probably takes as long as shooting out the whole mag now we're on the grind let's try to make the spot work we already have a ring of fire and we might as well just use it I kind of want to turn the rampage inducer on but I want to see if we can figure out a strat first because normally when people like offer up forsaken I was like yeah let's do it because the truck is just so easy but they they really have just nerfed this map into the ground in terms of like camo grinding. These bad boys are already starting to jump. I think we're gonna stay here for another like four rounds or so. Go grab some perks and then come back and get back to the grind. How many weapon levels are we at? 48, we're almost 49. We have a whole nother level to go after this one. 
and then we have to get our jackrabbits. It's not like we can even really train with this weapon too well either, because we already have that super reduced movement speed with how slow this weapon is, plus how slow the reload is. I don't know. LMGs are not the best in zombies. It may seem like a good pick because it's like incredibly like dense ammo count, but I don't really see too many people trying to get to a high round with LMG. It's going to be a, a struggle today because we've already gone down twice at, and we're at round 13. I'm going to go ahead and start picking up some decoys. I feel like we're going to need them. And just to help with crits, I'm going to try sitting over here. Maybe we, maybe this is a better spot. I'll, I'll use my ring of fire here. And then after that, we're going to switch to toxic growth and see if we can set up base here. This kind of seems better. We can funnel them in. We can funnel them in more. It's all flat ground. So the zombies are all going to be level. It'll be easy crit. Could be better. I just wish I could climb on this stuff. It really looks like you can. Like it'd be such an easy escape to just climb on that and jump on over. But we're going to have to play smart with our decoys. We even have to use our ring of fire this round. We got like one zombie left. It's taking us time. All right, pal. Shall we go ahead and start grabbing armor? We're going to need it. And then do we have enough to get our self revive yet? I think we do. Here we go. Grabbing death perception. We're going to start needing that salvage, especially if we keep going down. But we do really need to start building up the toxic growth. So I'm just going to use my ring of fire now, even if it's not like necessary. Now watch an abomination show up after this thing's done. A nuke? Don't want that. Never want a nuke when grinding camos. Mimic? Come here. All right, let's go ahead and put on toxic growth now. Oh, shit. Right when I go to reload, I'm going to stick a few Semtexes to him or attempt to. Oh, yeah, scream. I actually did a decent amount of damage. Take a step back so he can't hit me. Oh, he's already gone. He's dead. What's hitting me? What's behind me? There's a crawler. I hate crawlers so much. And we're already down again. Sick. We got back up. Abomination's down. We're going to rack up all these crits. Toxic growth. Slow him while I reload. Watch toxic growth. I'm going to grab death perception again. Okay, yeah, toxic growth is insanely clutch. But it did take like a hefty amount of damage. There, I, I can't see that lasting too many more zombies. I probably shouldn't have picked up that insta kill because we need to get more. Insta kill is kind of a burden, like it, it does not help. I mean, yeah, you kill zombies instantly, but I'm pretty sure at this rate or at, at this round, headshots are already going to be an insta kill, and then those also count towards my field upgrade. But this doesn't, this only makes it so if a bullet's slightly off, I just don't get that crit. Speaking of crits, let's check 232 crits out of 270 total are possible. That's not too bad. We're kind of gaming, but we already have three downs in 17 rounds. This is not shaping up to be an easy gold viper for us. We, this might be a struggle. Probably should have left those zombies. All right, after this round, I'm going to try to leave a zombie so i can go get some perks yep our toxic growth's already gone that's unfortunate we're close to getting another one though we're gonna need it soon i'm putting it down right now there's a max ammo i want to get that instead of reloading so we don't have to waste all that time there we go and also for oh i didn't leave a zombie damn okay this round i have to now i've been talking about pokemon quite a bit just in passing in uh some of these videos i did beat brilliant diamond and i i've started a uh, shining pearl on stream over on twitch so if you guys want to see that go head over to the twitch channel twitch.tv slash jmon3y26 uh we just beat the first gym so we're, we're doing pretty decent i think we might upload that to the the second channel we have another toxic growth ready to go we'll start filling this area up and there's an abomination i have to reload so i'm throwing a decoy down so i leave my toxic to gross alone the abomination does not really give a fuck so we're leaving i'm gonna sit on the truck for a second oh my lance uh, the truck's so bad now that's depressing okay we can go back to our corner please be an insta kill i think it is or a nuke that works too i say i never want a nuke while grinding but if it's against an abomination it helps it ended the round for us though which is not good we need perks and pack a punch we're at 44k you know abomination you wait here i'm gonna go pack a punch i'll be right back yeah especially if you're gonna be shooting lasers at me i'm out of here now let's grab this let's get pack two this is what pack punch two looks like like here on the rpd very nice the red and blue go together extremely well covers a whole lot of the gun now let's go take out the abomination with it oh this guy eight disciples okay put down another toxic growth i probably should have put it back in the corner there i have something to fall back on but this abomination's dead Ooh, toxic growth might have saved me from that full charge kind of sick how many zombies do we have left? I gotta make sure I'm leaving one. We've gone so many rounds in a row without me leaving one. Gotta reload. They already took out the toxic growth I just put down. They just took out another one. Jeez, relax, fellas. No, not another nuke. Okay, whatever. I'm just going for it. I'll throw it on a decoy while I grab shit. At this rate, we're, we're not gonna leave a zombie till round 40. Might as well grab PhD just in case I need it on the way. All right, zombies, have fun with this decoy. I'm gonna get quick revive, jug, speed, cola, stamina up, and even elemental. It might be a little early for elemental, but why not? On, on the off chance, we go to reload with the RPD. Or not even the off chance. On the off chance, something's near us with the RPD, which is actually probably a pretty good chance. That electric cherry might save our life. We have a second before zombies start spawning in to try to upgrade. We do. Let's get a purple. And let's get back into our cozy corner. Ooh, look at all these crits. 
Nothing but yellow popping up. Let's go. Grab all the salvage while we're at it. Was that over there? Bonus points. That'll help. A little 400 points. I'm gonna put another toxic growth back here. Possible. It's not. It's not looking like it is. I guess I'll put it out front. Round 22. Probably about 20 rounds to go from here. So we're at 498 crits. We still need so many. You know what? Let's try rampage induced. Let's see how this goes. This is gonna get real scary when I have to reload though. Uh, the as fast as these zombies move and as slow as this thing reloads, it's gonna be an interesting time. But we're we're getting to the to the groove here. Our toxic growths are doing their their job. I like how when you're at 70 bullets, it's it has like the warning like, hey, you're low on ammo. That just shows how much ammo this thing has in the mag. Oh shit! Insta kill. I kind of did not want that. I don't know why I went for it. It looks like max ammo for some reason. Double points. We take those. I just gotta ration my ammo in between rounds. Uh oh, we're taking out our defenses. Honestly, Toxic Growth is such a cool field upgrade. Like, besides Ring of Fire, this has got to be my favorite. So much fun to use. It's like playing a tower defense game. I want to get a game with four people with Toxic Growth and just sit in Colonels or what room is that? Pizza room on, on this map. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh-oh. There's our Rotten Camo. It's 2,500 kills with this thing. Just base. No pack punch, no nothing. Uh-oh, they're breaking through. And we have an Abomination who can shoot through walls. Stop. Stop hitting me. Holy shit. Okay, so found out a huge downside of that spot. If that abomination's at that angle, we are not safe from anything. Yeah, scream abomination, little bitch. Why are you invisible now? Stop being invisible. Knock that shit off. Please die. Go ahead, die. Oh my god, it charged at me. It's so close to death. My toxic growths are going in. This is actually going to really mess up our ratio. Toxic growth's going to take a whole lot of kills from us. Abomination, get out of here. Okay, here we go. Now we're back in business. To be fair though, these rounds are going by pretty fast now. Now that we got the rampage inducer on, now that we're chilling back here. It's not too bad. It's just when the abomination shows up, it, it forces us to like just move. Hey, can we upgrade our armor? We sure can. That's three. And now we need to save up for gold on our weapon. Mangler, get out of here. Later. See ya. Please put down the next toxic growth. Oh, there's our threshold camo. So we're at 1,639 crits. We'll be all done. That's our target number. Honestly, this is so much better than using ring of fire right now. Because with ring of fire... We're still probably gonna have to reload even if we use it. With toxic growth when we reload, we can kind of just move back and forth in between this and slow them down enough to get the reload off. It even stops those uh, abominations from getting that full push on us. Oh my Lanza, there's another one already. Yep. Slowed him down so he didn't get the full impact. We do need to make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Why is he still just camping our spot? Get out. Leave the spot. He's still trapped in there. Our toxic growth has trapped him. Okay, he took out literally all of them. Let's put some back down. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Decoy, go. Oh, but the toxic growth doesn't hit the disciples. That sucks. Oh, he's back for more. He's dead, though. He's sleep. Just give me one second. There we go. Gone. All right, we have more than enough to get pack three, so let's just go do that and get it over with. Then we'll be fully set up. I like how you don't have to worry about zombies getting packed here. All you gotta worry about is not being in here for too long. But here we go. Here's pack punch three on the RPD bars we got that nice sunset looking camo on it it's like sunset glitch it's just really nice the pack punch camos on this map are beautiful and we're back to the spot we only have one toxic growth up right now and none in the reserve we need to start building them up that's our lifeline we're almost there there's one put it down and we just lost one perfect put it back down please there we go all right now we're level 50 we just need jackrabbits or not just need but we can unlock our jackrabbits now why do i keep picking up these insta kills though these are not helping me insta kill is pretty sick with these toxic growths though like literally the second they touch it they're done oh we actually just burned that round i don't know how viable toxic growth is going to be uh the later round that we get into i don't think i've ever used it like too high up on rounds because it doesn't seem like we're we're churning them out as fast as they're going away. Let's throw a decoy. Get on the decoy. I'm getting the max ammo so we don't have to reload. And then we're going to pick up all these crits. Oh, no. Like, it's it's barely holding in here. We got LMG Master, though. We got some lock and stuff. We have another one in the reserve. I'm just going to put it down right away. We have a nice garden in front of us. The Guardian Garden. This is kind of going in, actually. I keep going back and forth on whether or not I like this. I feel like it just depends on if there's an abomination or not. But there's our entropathy camo. We got our first of uh, many jackrabbits. Tempest, you're not allowed to be here. Sorry to say. Now, this would be real nice if I had another person here. And they could stay on Toxic Gross and I could stay on, like, Ring of Fire or vice versa. Because this is a deadly combo. The fact that it slows zombies down, does damage to them, and after they get through it, they get poison damage. 
Like, it's a really nice field upgrade that kind of flies under the radar. Contamination camo, let's go. Easy jackrabbit. I put that toxic growth way too far up. One thing I, I would like to see is them make it so, like, there's a little indicator. Like, it shows, the like, a highlighted version of the bush of where it's going to go. That way you can get your fence all set up properly instead of just kind of winging it. Not grabbing that insta-kill. We don't need that. But we made it to round 30. We were sitting at a nice 952 crits. And there's an abomination. Gotta shoot it in its mouth. Don't try to charge at me, pal. Okay, we gotta go. Anytime the abomination shows up, it's just start sprinting around. It's the only way we can get out of it. We do have a bunch of decoys, though, so we might as well get these guys to pile up. There we go. Nice and easy crits. I throw down another toxic growth, and we're gonna try to survive here. A disciple, you really need to leave. I'm kind of flying through everything else. Oh my god, there's a mimic, too. They're throwing everything at me. Double points. We might as well grab that if we're gonna be fighting everything here. We're gonna be loaded. Crazy movement, though. He's insane. Come on. Can we kill this abomination while it's in our face? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. No. Oh, he's so close to dying. I'm gonna take him out to get up with my self revive. For my quick revive. Let's go. Eat shit. There's not that many zombies left, though, so I'm gonna go right for perks. But so far, we've survived in that spot as long as there's not an abomination. Like, that is the only thing holding us back. And just for confirmation, this is the Tony Hawk spot. Let me try to get a nice grind in. Yeah, see, that, that bar stops you now. We're back in the day. You know, back in the good old days, you would just fly right through it and just get in insane air. Can I get an F in chat for the Tony Hawk spot being patched? All right, we got all of our perks back. Mimic, get brain rotted, loser. All right, we ended the round. We got to make it back to our spot. We have a whole toxic growth ready to go. You know what? Maybe we try the spawn box spot now that we got toxic growth. We haven't given that a, a fair shake. I'm going to reload in here while it's safe first. All right, now we can go. Let's try it out. I don't know how many more crits we'll get up here, but might as well see what this spot's all about oh this is not looking good honestly gets real hectic real fast but there's our chemical camo we're all done with pack-a-punch kills that's pretty cool seems like i'm just getting a whole lot of just zombie kills yeah we're going back to the corner the corner's definitely better that toxic growth went away so so fast and with this we can at least shoot them before they get to the toxic growth you know if i'm not sitting there reloading the whole time with the crate you kind of have to sit there and watch and see where they're jumping up from He's, I don't know why he's placing them so far out. Why do Tempest not count towards the round count? Why are they just chilling here? Let's repair our armor and head on back. The RPD doesn't seem like awful though. Doesn't seem like a terrible gun. Like it's not great by any means, but I mean, it's holding up. We're on round 33 and it's still doing work. But only time will tell. If we can get to round 40 with it and it's still doing decent, then maybe it is all right. Maybe we need to put some respect on its name. You guys need to get on a decoy for fuck's sake and leave me alone. Go to another decoy, please. Decoys don't make sense to me in this game either. They kind of seem like they bounce off every zombie and go to a random spot. I'm gonna try to buy some more. Actually, it's looking like it's getting a little too hectic to do that. Jeez, I just bought armor and they're already slapping me up. Are you... Okay, good thing that's a Tempest. I'm about to be pissed if that was an abomination. I'm throwing a decoy down. Go to the decoy, please. Um, a Tempest and a Disciple. So many things on this map that just are not affected by this toxic growth. And it doesn't look like it's holding its own anymore. Oh, shit. There's so many. We gotta move. I'm throwing a decoy down. Everybody get to the decoy. Let me get the crits. Ooh, big wall of yellow text. That's what you like to see. Let's try to take out the disciple. There we go. Holy fuck. This disciple also needs to leave. We can use a toxic growth now. Okay, there we go. Back in business. Slight hiccup there, but we're making it now. We don't have a whole lot of toxic growth or literally any because this one's about to break. Getting tough out here. I'm just going to throw down a decoy. Enjoy that. Leave me alone. Stay in the decoy. I just need to build up more toxic growth. Okay, there we go. That's one down. This is this is tough, dude. A lot of shit going on here. Uh, we need to leave the corner. Let's head on back. This is chaotic as hell. Please deploy it. Fucking deploy it. Thank you. As we lose one. It's like we just keep trading the toxic gross off. We can't get all three up now. Okay. Ooh. Round 36. We're very close to getting another one. If we can somehow get another one up and then hold them back from hitting the one that's already up, we can actually get our defenses going. Okay, here we go. Please place it. That is a huge problem with toxic growth is it just do not place Throw a decoy, please. Give me a second to breathe. Throwing down another decoy because I have to reload. Holy shit. One more. Just to give me space. Because that many zombies running through a toxic growth is just a recipe for it to get destroyed. My Lanta. Okay, putting it down. This is a lot of fucking work. Oh, insta I'm going to grab the insta-kill just because that abomination's here. We need that extra damage on him. That'll help out so much. Especially if he has his crit spot open. Oh, what's up, pal? Hold on, I got to reload be right with you there you go nope and i'm down sick now we're, now we're on perk patrol we gotta go get more One hundred and twenty-nine thousand. uh thank god we actually have this much money let me get away there's gonna be a mimic who's not gonna care about the decoy i just threw 
fuck out of here. We need Deadshot. We'll just grab everything. Except for Tombstone. No one likes Tombstone. Another Mimic. I'm just going to leave the area. Mm, bye, bitch. Like, there has to be a more efficient way of grinding camels on this map, right? I feel like I'm I'm doing it wrong. But this is, like, the best way I can think of. I'm going to go buy more decoys. I should have bought it before I killed those guys. We're going to have to wait. Throwing down the decoy. Get the kills before the decoy goes away. We got another Toxic Growth ready to go. Please go down. It don't. It don't go down. It legit don't go down. Holy fuck. Get me out of here. I'm not going down again. I don't. I don't go down. Yeah, this spot's not holding up anymore. You can't do it. It's not optimal. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Ring of Fire. Our toxic growth experiment has ended. It worked pretty well for the first 36 rounds. Round 37, not so much. Ooh, look at Shatter Blast go. I mean, it doesn't help us with crits, but it's very satisfying when Shatter Blast just takes out a whole horde. Ring of Fire time. There we go. Ring of Fire is still shnasty. We're just gonna have to train around until we get our Ring of Fire each round. We got one zombie left. I'm buying decoys. There we go. Gotta repair the armor too. Let's take these guys out. Now we're all set. We're at 1,315 crits. We're actually kind of close to getting this done. I predicted round 42, but it might actually be earlier than that. No, get away from me. Get away. Oh, clutch decoy. I'm throwing down a second one just in case. Here we go. Oh my God, Shatter Blast. Go, on. go in. Do work. Ring of Fire time felt weird grinding without using ring of fire for most of this game definitely glad to see it back this thing is about to expire so i'm throwing a decoy down and okay, now we're moving so I'll reload run around with this thing and not get hit put another decoy down oh my god shatter blast go in shatter blast said put me in the game let's try to survive the rest of this round without using a ring of fire so we have one ready for next round you know what we can survive the rest of this round if we use the insta kill this is the one time it's useful if we already have our field upgrade full then we can use this. We can sit in the corner for as long as we can. The insta-kill is definitely going to help out. And then we'll pop the ring of fire right when the insta-kill ends. Disciple's gone. We need to get this other disciple out of here. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're already down. My Lanta, dude. Any zombies want to get electric cherried? I really don't want to use the self-revive. Come here. Come on. I know you want to get electric cherried. Come to Papa. There we go. But we got to survive the rest of this round and leave one. Because there's no way in hell we're going to be able to buy all of our perks back with one decoy. Especially with disciples hanging around. I'm going to use the truck for a second to get some shots on disciple. This thing is not doing too much. So we have mask off future and we're dead. This is uh bad news bears, one would say. Let's stick to revive. I gotta hit up this portal. I just gotta go on here and give me a second to relax to get this thing reloaded too. Okay, what's the game plan here? Because we have no quick revive, no self revive, and we're extremely close to getting this thing done. I don't want to play another game. I'm throwing a decoy going right to the table. That's our best bet. More decoys and a self revive. Okay, we can survive the rest of this round, I think. Hop on the truck to buy time. We have PhD to help with a little bit of movement. We might need a nade for a ring of fire. Let's do it. We're halfway there. We got the disciple killed. Oh my God, there's an abomination. He literally just trucked me. Okay, let's try to crawl as far as we can before we use a self-revive because PhD is already gone. All right, now we'll use it. Same plan, throwing down a decoy, grabbing the self-revive. We got to throw down another decoy. I'm going to nade these guys. There we go. We have a ring of fire ready. Damn, we're going to go through the portal for a second. We need to recharge our... our fucking brain we're gonna grab phd what perks are down here i'm gonna go grab dead shot we can squeeze in a dead shot there we go please don't kill me i have 20 health we gotta pull fists out and just run oh my god oh my god no what the hell is happening okay what's our plan here let's go over here so we can self-revive drop down hit the rope run across the bridge hit the rope back into our pack-a-punch room and then we can go from there this is a nightmare we hit the rope. We have one decoy, which gives us enough time to buy the self-revive again. We have more than enough salvage, so please be fast. Disciple, don't kill me. Hit the portal. Ooh, that was close. I had no health. Okay, we're gonna go down here and get self-revive or quick revive. What is it called? I, I always use them somehow. Here we go. Holy shit, Disciple. That kind of scared me. No, climb it. Oh, that was so close. Up the rope. Goodbye. Later. See ya. We got three decoys again, and we're down again. God damn. Okay, self-revive. Decoy. This is what I was talking about with LMGs and being slow. I have my fist out, but like, once you go down with one, you're kind of in like a downward spiral. Okay, decoy going out, as well as a nade, and the ring of fire's coming in. This is where we turn things around. Throwing down another decoy. These guys need to stay away from me so I can take out this abomination, because this is our biggest issue right here. Oh, shit! Oh, my Lanta. Okay, let's use the ring of fire damage to try to get up with quick revive. We might be able to do it. He's so low. Damn, we went from doing 600 damage to him to a... Uh, like not even a hundred, but we do have quick revive so we can like crawl faster. At least that helps. So we can get some distance from these guys. So we can go buy another self revive. Cause it looks like that's the only way we're going to get up. If we don't have elemental pop, we're racking up the downs though. We're at 11 downs. We went down one time. Well, not one time. We went down once after being set up, just been a downward spiral from there. And we are just eating through our salvage. I've already spent like a thousand this round and it's 
Very important that I leave a zombie here. I just want to take out the abomination and that's it. There he is. There's our boy. Holy shit. He actually kind of adjusted and almost took us out there. Stop hurting me. Jeez. Relax, pal. Let's refill our armor. This has been our toughest round yet. I said we might get our crits done early or earlier than my prediction. I don't think so anymore. None of this shit's happening. God damn. This guy just tanks shots. Yeah, do it. Fuck, dude. Just die. Please. That's all I need you to do. Just kick the fucking bucket. Press fucking tuck it. I'm getting death perception because I can. Oh, shit. Why does this thing tank so much damage? Oh, that's terrifying. It crawling at me in that cube. Uh-uh. Oh, it can jump too. It's got hops. Whew, this has been the longest round of my life. I'm really just trying to keep this game alive. So if I restart, it's going to take forever to get back up to a point where I'm getting like a good amount of crits. And we're not doing that, especially after putting in this much effort to stay alive here. I just need this fucker to die. Okay, stop being an overachiever zombie. I don't need you sprinting. I'm going up to spawn location. Oh, please don't shoot. Idiot. Get rolled. Get played. Oh my god, can you die? This thing's doing nothing to him. Holy shit. No health on him. No health. No. He literally is one shot. And he just killed our last zombie. You just fucked me, Abomination. You did. You piece of shit. Oh, I could have... Let me maybe turn it on for Rampage Inducer. Oh, but there's a mimic saying, no, you're not allowed to do that. This is a pain. Okay, we're turning it off. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make at round 40, but at least it'll be slower. So I do have a self-revive. I just don't have quick revive. We're in a bit of a pickle here. I'm going to at least try to get dead shot. We'll try to continue as normal. If there's not an abomination, I think we'll be okay. But man, this is a struggle. I'm trying to just dig myself out of this hole. We only have 200 more crits to get. And they're like, no, we're going to make this as hard as possible for you. Okay, we got dead shot. Got to get out of here. I'm going to grab... Oh, no, never mind. We can't grab elemental. It's not safe. Hit up the portal. We have no more decoys. Can I grab at least one perk from Wonder Fizz? I don't think so. I just saw a mimic there. Yeah, there's no chance. Oh, we do no damage either. Through this portal. Get a nice little reload on our gun while we're making our walk back to spawn. I'm going to try to grab decoys as fast as possible because that's the only thing that's going to keep us alive if we end up going down again. Okay. We're kind of making moves. Let's get some nade kills in here so we can get our ring of fire going. Okay. We have it ready. Let's go into our corner and see what we can do. Ring of fire time, baby. Let's go. Throwing a decoy now. Go to the decoy, please. Don't knock me. I'm going to freak out. I'm throwing another decoy. Oh, my Lanta. We need Jug desperately. We're so out of decoys, too. Let's do this. I'm going through this portal, grabbing Jug, coming right back. Oh, this has been the longest two rounds of my life. There's Jug. Oh, stamina up. That'll help a lot. Drink it faster, please. Okay. We'll grab Quick Revive since we're right here. We're slowly making our way back to actually being able to handle ourselves. But this thing's damage has really, really fallen off. You know what? Eat a nade. Let's head back to spawn. Oh. Oh, what's up, Mangler? Or bad. Tempest, you look sleepy as well. Okay, it's looking like we just got normal zombies now. This, that's what I can deal with. I gotta stop talking. I almost died immediately saying deal with. You cannot deal with anything. But I do need to remember to save a zombie. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Oh, conviction camo. Look, we, we're making progress as slow as we're going. But at least we're not dead. Not yet. Okay, we're, we're thinning out the herd here. There's only a few left. I gotta reload anyways. Might as well hop in the portal. I'll try to lead these guys over here. Okay, let's go get our perks back and then let's just get back to grinding. This thing is like not good. I was talking about, hey, you know, it might be good. It's doing decent. It's holding its own. It really, you can tell the round that it happens at. Like during that round, you feel it's like, oh, this is not doing anything anymore. Like there's such a huge shift. Okay, we're gonna need speed coal. We're gonna need all of this. We have our perks back. Now we need armor and decoys. Actually, pro tip, if you reload, watch this. See, I'm going to shoot right here. Get a few bullets out of the mag. If you reload, as you're hitting the teleporter, they'll still be reloading in the teleporter. You come out, full mag. Okay, we're all set there. And there's our last zombie round 41. Actually, if we can get enough crits in this round, we can get out of here in my predicted round. Here come them boys. Let's ring a fire. Holy shit. I'm going to decoy now. Everybody get on it so I can get these crits. I'll just keep it going. We're just going to throw unlimited decoys here as long as Mule Kick will help us. Oh, yeah? You guys just going to ignore that decoy? How did it get over there? That's what I want to know. Decoys are very inconsistent. But guess what? Gonna buy more. Oh, please. Get on that decoy and stay on it. Gotta go back for even more decoys. This is just a decoy game. I accidentally bought some stims there. Wasted a little salvage, but it's not that bad as long as we get out of here this round. All right, here we go. That's the round. Round 42. So we can still finish it here. We did level up, though. Is that Gold Viper? It's not. Yeah, we're at 1,567. We need more. We kind of wasted our ring of fire here. Oh, and here come the elites. Here come the disciples. And an abomination. Okay. You know what? We're not dealing with them. Let's just try to get the crits we need and leave. I'll stay up here for a second. Oh my, look at these zombies tanking shots. That's not okay. Zombies should not be able to tank that many shots. I don't care if they're powered up by the disciple or not. That was ridiculous. Run down another decoy. Just give me the crits I need so I can leave. 
That was actually a fat amount. We could get it this round. Ring of fire time. I'm gonna focus on the abomination while we have the ring of fire. Or try to. Everyone's getting in my way. Holy fuck. No going down. Decoy, go. No. We gotta move. We got no health. We can't be sitting there. We're all out of decoys, though. Oh, everything is going was going so well. I don't I do not need to go down again and go through that whole fiasco. No lupe. Gotta get crits where I can. Just please give me gold viper. That's all I want. That's all I need. All I want for Christmas is gold viper. We have another ring of fire. How much health is there? our abomination's basically dead? We can go in our corner. Let's get all these crits. Can we please get gold viper. No, the round ended though. And our abomination is dead. Oh, and we got gold viper. Okay, we did get it. Let's go. We're all done. When's our next exfil? 46. I ain't sticking around for that. That's not happening. I'm just gonna sit in this corner till I die. This is my last stand. I don't have ring of fire. I don't have decoys. Whatever happens, happens. I'll take a stim, I guess. But it go down from here. You know what? I'll even nade at my feet if I have to. I'll use everything at my disposal. Ring of fire time. Nade on the ground time. We're me on the ground time. We're back up somehow, some way. So we still have a self-revive and we repaired our armor. Nade in the ground again. We still have PhD, so we can do that. Throw it. Oh, PhD and nades is such an insane combo. Okay, back down on the ground. We don't have a uh, quick revive, so I'm just gonna use my self-revive. We'll see how this goes. Found a decoy on the ground, so let's use it. So I have a second to reload here. Uh-oh. We still got PhD though. Nade at the ground time, baby. And a nuke. Jeez, this mangler's like got a headache. He's just lean the fuck over. There we go. We actually survived the round. Very surprising. Can we survive another? I'm putting in no effort here. I mean, I'm putting in an effort to stay alive, but no effort to regain what I've lost. The ring of fire. What can we get out of this? I think this is game right here. Yep. All right. We did all we could. We went down a total of 14 times. This is ridiculous, but we had 3,037 kills, 1,681 crits. I fought like hell for this one. This this one was a disaster. I, I put everything I had into staying alive there and it worked out. All right. Let's take a look at what the RPG looks like with these mastery camos. Here's gold viper. You can't really see too much of it. It is a small percentage of the gun. I mean, not that small of a percentage, but the whole mag, like I said with the MAC-10, there needs to be coverage on the mag, especially if it's that large. And then there's also towards the front of the gun before you get to the barrel. There, it looks like there's like wood scratching there. Like it's it's seeping through it. Not a big fan of this, but let's let's hold off on our judgment that we see it in game. Like Diamond always does it right. I don't know why the flashlight isn't covered. That's weird, but doesn't look too bad. Dark Aether, a little better. Uh, you don't see the wood clipping through in the front area there, but uh, this weapon still does not look the greatest with camos on it, but let's go see what it looks like in game with Gold Viper. All right, this is what the RPG looks like with Gold Viper in game. Definitely way better in game and with no attachments on it. Still wish the mag had the coverage. I think it would make it pop a lot more, but you know, this isn't too bad. When you're holding it and the main thing you're seeing is the part with Gold Viper on it, it's kind of clean definitely you always got to save my judgment on these weapons till we see what they look like in game it's it's a given at this point but i am convinced that the gold viper on on console at least or on ps4 i don't know if it's different on xbox i think it might be but it, it, it definitely looks way better on console than it does on pc i i don't know what's going on with pc it might be some lighting thing that makes it look weird but there you have it uh i actually just worked my ass off getting this thing gold viper i have no idea how i survived that long lmgs are awful past round 35 they are a liability but there you have it uh make sure you leave your suggestions down in the comments below try not to suggest anything that has already been suggested uh, make sure you leave your maps there as well but i think that's going to be it for today's video if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please start subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's going to be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later